Hi everyone, welcome back to Violet Artistry. It's been a while again. I'm on and off here, but thank you so much for keeping up with me on Instagram. Uh, I love talking to you over there, so if you haven't already, go ahead and check it out. I always respond. But here we are today. I felt a little bit down and blah, and the weather is a little, it's not raining, but it's very dark and cloudy outside. And I just felt like I needed a fresh pick me up. And I've had this lipstick for a while. It was brand new, never used it because we're still back to, we're back to masks here in LA. So it's a little hard to wear a creamy lipstick, no matter what the color, under the mask. And my skin was also very dehydrated and I was craving that juicy, glowy skin. So here we are. I took a trip um, to Palm Springs several weeks ago and I was so inspired by all the bougainvillea and the colors that were there. I just wanted to come home and play with color. And... Uh, this is where we are today. Let's get started. There are very few products and just minimal technique. So let's get started and I hope you enjoy. I'm going to start by adding more moisture because I feel like my skin is not where it's supposed to be right now. I use a lot of retinol for my hormonal acne and it's been very, very dry. So I'm gonna use the Lila B a glow oil because this just gives me life and then I'm going to proceed with my foundation and like I said my skin hasn't been really behaving but I'm not going to go overboard so I'm gonna go in with the bite game changer and just a drop on the back of my hand and I'm going to concentrate this on the areas that I feel are more prone to redness and scarring like right here in the center and on my forehead here right in between my eyebrows I should have let the Lila B a glow oil to sink in a little bit but Time is at the essence. It's nice to leave your skin products sink into the skin for at least 10 minutes before you start putting on your makeup so you don't have things sliding. But I'm gonna make it work. You see, it's such, such a beautiful natural coverage with just the right amount of glossiness and glow. I think that's good. I'm going to use my Ilia concealer. It's very hydrating and only go a little bit here in this little divot where most of my darkness resides and a little bit in the outer corner. Or maybe a little bit here. And it's not very light, so I'm gonna go and tap some of these scars that I have left over from previous acne. But that's it. I don't want the skin to look overdone. I just want it to look glowy and clean and fresh. And then I'm just going to gently Press this in. I'm gonna try to keep it right here where the darkness is. And maybe oh, whatever I have left on my beauty blender, I'll just tap it on my eyelid. I wanna make sure that no creasing has occurred and then only very, very little powder just where I place the concealer so everything stays put and then I'm gonna take the Kosa powder a little bit right here in the smile lines 
and around my nose. But that's it. So a little bit here in between my eyebrows, around my nose, under the eyes, and around the mouth. Pretty much the center of my face where I concentrated most of the product to cover my redness and my scarring. And now let's move on to a little bit of color and bronzing because I do feel I'm lacking all that. I feel very flat. I'm going to reach for my Persona Bronzing Stick in Nude and I'm literally just going to go around my forehead, a little bit under, but then on the cheek too because I'm not planning to do a very dramatic contour, just enough to give my face a little definition and a little color, but I always like to contour my nose a little bit because it is what it is. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to blend everything with actually with my Persona brush and I like this stick a lot because it's very emollient and I love using the soft brush in circular motion to just blend everything and diffuse the color instead of having those harsh like contour lines. As you can see, it blends like a charm. It became one of my favorite, favorite products. Now that we got some bronzing going on, the glow is still strong. I'm not going to stop there as far as the glow is concerned. And I'm gonna go in with my Persona Gold Highlight Stick. And I'm gonna take this just on my fingers. It is so beautiful. It has little specks of 24 karat gold in it. So when you apply it, ah. Oh, it's just the most subtle, gorgeous, healthy skin. I've drank three gallons of water today. <laughs> How gorgeous is this? I can't get enough. I'm gonna do this and then a little bit on my cupid's bow, a little bit here, and just a little bit on the bridge of the nose. I'm not going to have anything on my eyes, so I'm going to go just a little bit in here too. And nothing complements this more than this newest discovery, the Rose Ink Blush. This is in Azalea and it's a very strong gel like it's a cream and then once you put it on it turns into this very subtle gel texture I don't even know how to describe it but I'm gonna go like this higher up and this and then I'm just gonna blend it with a um, synthetic brush because I just I feel like it blends it really beautifully and it doesn't absorb into the bristles. And I'm mostly like patting, not so much rubbing. I'm gonna go a little bit into my temples here and my cheeks. And look at that, so fresh. And in combination with the highlighter, I feel like it makes for the perfect, perfect glowy skin. And then whatever I have left, I'm just gonna go across the nose. I cannot get enough of these three cream products together. The bronzing stick, the highlighter, and this blush. 
it's like the perfect healthy glowy skin all right enough talking let's get to the eyes i thought i wasn't gonna do anything with the eyes but i feel like my lashes need a little bit of definition so i'm gonna go in with this just like earthy tone brown pencil and literally i'm just gonna go with the end right here just very little like this and then don't worry we'll blend it okay you could do this with your bronzer i just had this here so i'm gonna blend it just here on my lash line and then just use my finger to diffuse everything just enough to give me that subtle definition that gives the illusion of thicker lashes i want the skin and the eyes to be as simple and as clean as possible so when you add a beautiful red lipstick that just takes center stage that's it I'm just gonna leave it as is and give my lashes a really good curl i think the more curl they are the more they're gonna just open your eyes and for mascara i'm gonna use the ilia volumizing mascara which gives beautiful beautiful thick lashes i love this mascara however it is a volumizing mascara and my lashes are not very long so i like that it makes them thick but i think i want longer and not so much thicker lashes so next time i will consider lengthening mascara but nevertheless i love the look now i think i'm going to apply my lipstick and then see if i need a little bit more blush because my skin is dehydrated i feel like it is eating the makeup but let's go on with the lipstick which is so beautiful i'm gonna try to get a little bit of my lip balm let's do this i'm gonna start in the middle of my lip it's gorgeous and it feels like a combination of silk and velvet it's very light and very comfortable It feels amazing on the lips. I'm gonna go ahead and perfect the edges with a brush. It's stunning. The color is just gorgeous, gorgeous. And it feels very light and very pleasant on the lips. I really, really love it. So now, just looking at the entire face, I think I'm going to just gently brush my eyebrows. I'm gonna use the Swipe Up by Persona and just a little bit up. And now looking at my face, I do feel a little bit of the blush has kind of sunk into my skin. So I'm going to take my persona and just add a little bit more to give me that flushed cheek. I'm not worried because I know it's going to sink in into the skin. And 
yeah the glow with the red lip I'm feeling it and I'm loving it now if I only have somewhere to go but it's okay my puppy can see me right rocket do you want to come say hi rocket come here hi honey what do you think does mommy look pretty hi <laughs> did I wake you say hello 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 everybody He's gotten so big since the last video we made together. No? You want to go back to bed? You want to go back to bed? Can I have a kiss? Give me a kiss. Fine. You can go back to bed. Okay. 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 All right, everyone. That is it for today. I really enjoy creating this. I don't think I can wear a mask over it because the skin is glossy, the lips are red, but it's okay, right, Rocket? You love it. <laughs> but I certainly enjoy playing with makeup and I look forward to the day where we can just wear our bare faces out and about and flaunt our colorful lipsticks. Until next time, thank you so much for taking the time to watch and I'll talk to you soon.